Chance they came pawn devil's game and gosh they paid the price paid the price Salut à tous et on revient comme je vous avais dit hop on était bloqué au niveau de l'Himalaya Il fallait que je revienne à l'avion Alors reviens toi là ah Onward and upward. Look, my arms are getting tired.
ready here. Won my back and doom.
dann tun wir jetzt den Backen. Onward and upward. Up by go. I go. I go.
Abby. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? You don't suppose? Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey. Well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. Crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does the rest of Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webigail. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next?
a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did it take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the gizmo duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Looks like the same spaceship that took off the Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Alors, euh... ah oui, il faut prendre déjà toutes ces pièces et puis redescendre. Onward and upward. My bagpipes! A piece of gizmo duck suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door.
Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. System restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find the Gizmo Duck suit myself. like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, only two more parts to find and we can break into that moon vault.
now! Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? Because zero gravity is the last place for bad dining habits, Mr. McDuck. There'll be no skipping meals on my watch. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Goodbye, Mr. McDuck, and be safe. <laughs> Onward and upward. How oh, dare you! More duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. Where 
in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't he worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmoduck. Now... Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmoduck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Oh, yeah. 
wash well. Smith and be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> Mais non, je dois battre euh, Gripsou, non We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic or dispel? Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm. Duckworth, Mrs. Beakley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake von Vladstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck, 
These treasures are part of spell to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Unless, sir, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimps is our hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home on Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours or little.
upward. Where'd you go, you old pillow stuffer? I'm helping like you asked. Quit complaining. Hanging around here. How do you stop this confounded contraption? Up I go. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. Point in hanging around here. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. No point in hanging around here. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. Point in hanging around here. Look, my arms are getting tired. No point in hanging around here. Okay. 
Israel. No point in hanging around here. Look, my arms are getting tired. Point in hanging around here. Before beauty, Flinty. This is actually starting to be fun. Washed up has been Let's first, go. Macduck. I'm a busy duck. Washed up Let's has been first, gone. Macduck. Uh, it has took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So, you have decided to deliver dime after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now let the boys. What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. <laughs> You've been in cahoots from the beginning. No, even before beginning. 
Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Twas me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... No wonder it was such a bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. Enough with this smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old has -been. Better to stick with master plan. Is much more exciting. I now summon Dracula Duck. Behold! Dracula Duck. I, Magic of the Spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. Meddling 
and guys like Mav. Rest is worse than his vice. is very expensive. Ow, ow, ow. his bike. Oh, 
plan must not fail. his bite. is very expensive. is very expensive. Ow, ow, ow. Meddling 
and die like mad. Don't give up, you power of bat. Oh dear. Ow, ow, ow. On en est à la fin là. Non, bah, c'est pas grave, on fera un autre truc. Castello des Fulmignons, ça pourrait être bien, mais pour demain, je pense. Là, je vais arrêter le, le truc. Euh, J'étais content de vous voir, c'était cool. Et on fait combien de minutes ensemble 1h37 déjà. <rire> Trop fort. Et j'ai perdu 0,2% d'image. Bon, ça va encore. Et 285 images perdues. Ouhou. Allez, et ben, je vous dis sur ce. A très bientôt. Well, Cuphead and his Pelman 